so we've seen the first uh, French term. <coughs> um, it uh, took me about 30 minutes. It's two days of game time and uh, setting up the whole game, all, all of these counters and um, so forth, took me about uh, 45 minutes. Um, so what happened was uh, the uh, French spent three administrative points um, to move Lefebvre from here to here to block Charles, any attempt from Charles to uh, move off to a victory uh, uh, target there. Um, Davu moved from here to here, so he's in a, any attack against him will be on affecting terrain, and his any counterattack he makes won't be. So he moved into a Gable's coffin. He left his cavalry behind there. Oh, I forgot to roll for their initiative move, because uh, cavalry major generals have a good initiative of four, so he made it. Um, so they're going to trot out one, two, three. I'll say they'll trot out to there. Um, uh, but they're small force, so that's not going to work. We won't worry about attrition roll for them. Just check your out. That's fine. Um, and who else? And then um, uh, of the French reinforce reinforcements, Van Damme was um, ordered out to here with an administrative point. Then Napoleon, uh, Massena and Oudinot were left on um, initiative rolls. Napoleon failed his. Uh, he's got the best initiative. <laughs> so he's stuck there. Um, Udino moved out here to block any movement over here, and uh, Massena moved up to, to complete the blockage there. Um, the infantry major generals can't move without administrative points, so they're staying where they are. Um, that's the French move, now uh, we'll go on to the Austrian. Well, from reading online and uh, thinking about the situation, it's obvious that the Austrians have a chance to win the game right at the beginning here. They're on uh, plus one on the morale track. If they can reach plus four, they've won the game. The fourth point would have to be movement off here by Charles, because um, that can only uh, count if he's on plus three already. The second... Uh, points would be um, taking Regensburg there, and uh, the third point would be um, winning a, a decisive pitched battle. So um, they have quite strong forces now, and uh, this is their chance. The Austrians are going to go for it. Trouble is, is Charles is in an uh, enemy zone of control, so he's going to have to roll for initiative to move out. So his aim is to move up here. Um, Louis and this Major General are going to fight across here, so they'll be threatening the, s the French supply lines and their reinforcements advance. Um, this Major General is going to go up and engage them, so he's going to be trying to protect the um, line of communications. Uh, one of these is going Rosenberg, I suppose. Um, Rosenberg will, will go up engage this Major General, push him back, and Liechtenstein will join Charles against Lefebvre. I guess they'll both two onto one at this point. Um, so that's going to require the expenditure of one, two, three, four, five, six administration points. Um, that's quite expensive. Uh, there is not a rule which restricts the administration as such to four or three a turn. I'm not playing with that optional rule, but it's just an indication of, I think, what, what would have been likely possible in those times. So this is going to be a massive organisation. Um, he's going to remain... Conorat is going to... Conorat is going to remain there. Um, threatening movement over here and, and protecting this. Uh, well, I say he's protecting 
that flank, but um, I was going to say protecting that flank, but he's actually out on a limb, isn't he? Okay, I'll see what we can do. I'll let, first I'll roll for Charles' um, his initiative movement. 